By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe applications of reflection of light. Construct a device based on the application of reflection of light. Have you ever wondered why there is a piece of mirror on the scales of these instruments? Why is a plain mirror is fitted in the scale of an ammeter? To reduce parallax error, a plain mirror is fitted in the scale of measuring instruments. This is the wrong way to read the scale because the reflection of the pointer could be seen. This is the right way to read the scale, that is, with the eyes directly above the scale and with no reflection of the pointer. A rotating plane mirror is used to improve the sensitivity of the measuring instruments. This is an example of a ballistic galvanometer. In a ballistic galvanometer, a plane mirror and a moving coil are suspended by means of thin, flat ribbons of phosphor bronze. When a current flows through the galvanometer, the ribbons are twisted and the mirror is rotated. A beam of light that is directed on the mirror is deflected onto a scale. The position of the reflected ray on the screen indicates the size of the electric current. When the mirror is rotated by a small angle, the reflected beam that falls on the scale will be deflected by twice the amount. If a distant scale, one meter or more, is being used, the deflection on the scale is even greater. The mirror allows the user to see very small deflections and thus to measure very small currents. This increases the sensitivity of the galvanometer. A parabolic mirror is used to collect as much light as possible and to focus the light to a convex lens by a plane mirror. Why do ladies use concave mirrors for makeup? Observe the image in the plain mirror. Observe the image in the concave mirror. Notice the difference in the size of the images. For makeup, the lady's face must be close to the concave mirror. The object distance has to be less than the focal length of the concave mirror. The image formed in the concave mirror here is upright, virtual and bigger than the object. What is behind the wall? Click on the periscope to find out. Move the slider up or down to find the right position of the two plane mirrors in order to see what is behind the wall. How does my periscope work? In the reflection of light, the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. In your periscope, light is incident to the top mirror 
at a 45 degree angle and reflects away at 45 degree angle down to the bottom mirror. The reflected light hits the second mirror at a 45 degree angle and reflects away at the same angle right into your eye. In this lesson, we learnt that mirrors are used in various ways to improve the quality of light. Mirrors are used to improve the accuracy of measurements either to reduce the parallax error or to make the instrument more sensitive. In telescope, the huge curved mirrors are used to collect as much light as possible to enable the astronomers to see in more details the faint stars. Mirrors are used in many daily activities.